Let's get started installing Wiimod. Click the link in the description and then click the download trainer button. Install the app as you normally would. You'll find it in your downloads folder wherever your downloads go and install it. The install does take a few minutes. It, it does list all the games that you have installed on your computer and it gives you compatibilities of what it does and what doesn't work with Wiimod. <clears throat> Once Wiimod's installed uh, it's a pretty simple process. It starts up. You're going to, um, if you have a login, if you've created a login and verified your email, it will open up. Uh, it does open up to the Gen Zero with the link that I sent, but you can't go into games. On the left, I mean, not, sorry, on the right, it'll show you all the games that they are compatible with. They do have thousands of games that it is compatible with. And on the left, it'll show you all the games that you have installed on your machine. And to get started, all you have to do is click on the game that you want to play. In this case, we're going to play Generation Zero, so we'll, we'll go over and find um, a Generation Zero. And you'll see Generation Zero's in my list, as well as games that I have on Epic and Origin. You'll see that there's a compatibility options there. Some may be compatible, some are not. You'll click on that compatibility of what options you want. You do have to run the game through Wiimod, so you have to click the play button in the right. Once that starts, you'll see Generation Zero will start. It runs it through the game engine, so there is no code changes, and it just works. Now, you're as OP as you can be in your own game. Now, all your function keys, F1 through F7, in the description box, you will see I've listed what each one does. Some of the things I didn't like about Wiimod, uh, some of the things I did like. So the things I did like, one, that it works. And if you heard that ping, that's the number one annoying thing I didn't like about. I completely understand why they do that. Every time you turn a feature off one, with one of your function keys, you'll always get that ping. It tells you that the feature is active. The other thing I didn't, uh, I found, there's a glitch in the uh, no reload. If you activate no reload and you hit your reload button using the, your keyboard or your Xbox controller on Windows 10, it goes into this cycle of uh, continually reloading. And the only, only way to fix that is to swap weapons and then it goes away. Uh, the third thing I didn't uh, care much for is that at the end of every gameplay, you go to close your game, it exits with a crash. Microsoft thinks or it actually does fail to stop properly or close down cleanly. I will say that I have not found the crash to cause any saves to corrupt or the game to corrupt. Now that's not to say that it won't happen to you. I'm just saying it hasn't happened to me.